Hey everybody, say hi. Say hi. You don't want to say hi? Um, so I just wanted to come on here live. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Um, so Saturday's here. I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.30 here um, in Colorado. And uh, I love waking up now on Saturdays and being able to enjoy my family. We never have to. See, careful, Cece. We never have to really, uh, we never have determined where we're going. No plans, really. Summer's coming. Summer's coming. And we're super excited. Um, Bella, Bella. Come here for a second, baby. Um, we're really excited for summer because um, so much goes on in the summer here in Colorado. There's concerts every weekend. Um, Friday, Saturday nights. There's always some kind of concert going on. And uh, get together with friends, cookouts, and just um, enjoying life. And I'm really excited this summer because some of the amazing things that go on on the weekends are were when I was working um, for a company where I had to um, be in every weekend because that's the demand. The demands were always the weekends, so I needed more help. So um, I, I feel really blessed this summer. I'm going to. San Diego with Chris. We're going um, June 22nd through the 26th. No, the 26th we come home at 1.30 in the morning. And then the 26th that afternoon at 5.30 at night, Bella, Cece, <coughs> Bella, Cece, and I and my dad are flying back to North Carolina for six weeks. Six weeks we're going to be in North Carolina, but Cece, right? And um, we're going to go spend time with our families um, and friends and everything else. And then we're going to come back August 7th. And then I fly to Air Scottsdale, Arizona on the 11th for a mini little retreat um, with my team. And we're going to have a little, a lot of fun. What are you doing? This child does not sit still ever. Look at this. Huh? Bella, say hi. Bella, say hi. She's, she's and I really love the fact that I. Um, careful, Cece, there's a table there. Child. <laughs> yeah, day in the life with Cece. And um, just feel blessed that we can do that we can travel the world um one day chris can travel that long with us um but just to be the, the time freedom with my family my kids to enjoy them and uh not have to worry you know you know i used to not be able to take time off for vacations because all my time off was because my kids were sick and when the kids are sick that's priority over vacation um now i can do both i can take time off. Well, I don't have to take time off from anything because um, I do everything from my cell phone. Good morning, Sarah. I need to come back to Canada to see you. Um, I need a long, I, Chris needs to come with us. So um, we'll find out where you are in Canada and we'll come see you. But um, the time freedom, I, I feel really blessed to have Cece. Cece. It's just a dog. Um, I feel really blessed to have the time freedom to um, enjoy my kids and still travel with them and have time off. Because um, I don't have to take time off from anything. I love what I do. Like, every single day, like, I don't consider it work because I literally, truly love helping people feel better. And changing lives and making, um, giving someone some, you know, their happy back, their mom back, their mood support, whatever it is that you're doing. Don't mind my hair. I don't even know what's going on with it today. Um, whatever you're doing, like, I truly don't consider it work because I love what I do. And if you love what you do, it's not work. It's, you have fun. Like, yesterday, my day consisted of meeting with a new promoter. We met for breakfast. Then I met with another one of my friends who promotes with Lavelle um, for lunch, and we kind of hung out and worked a little bit, and then we had a play date last night with the kids. Um, Mom and I worked. Um, we chatted, and while the kids played, the dads hung out. Um, 
and it's just it's just fun like that's fun I want to be able to bring my kids to work and enjoy them and you know while they're having fun and having a play date mommy can do what mommy loves to do watch them and help people so that's how simple this is um, you know I fit my business into my day I fit it into my schedule um, I can listen to calls while I give my kids a bath it's it's just I love the time freedom and if you are a Lavelle brand promoter and you what is your favorite part do you love the, the time freedom that we have like the joy of being able to enjoy your family take care of whatever it is that you enjoy to do every day and squeeze in making a phone call and helping someone feel better like that's what I truly enjoy I love the time freedom um, just watch it like sitting here like I'm doing a live because I'm doing a live <laughs> but I'm watching my kids have fun like look hi beautiful they're sitting there playing with daddy um, with jewelry because that's what they love and but yeah so it's the time freedom the time freedom um, it's funny because I helped a friend yesterday who um, super skeptical um, and she messaged me and she said, Shanann, I want to tell you something. And I was like, what? She was like, I'm so sorry. And I said, what are you sorry for? She said, because I gave you a hard time. I judged you. Um, I, I thought you were just doing something, um, just whatever. And, um, she has been able to enjoy her children the last week and a half um, in a way that she hasn't in the last five years and to me that brought me to tears with her because we're not promised tomorrow you know we're not promised anything but to be able to enjoy our children and um, every crazy moment it can be super crazy I'm not gonna lie my kids are are crazy <laughs> but I love them and I love the fact that I can be there for them Bella knows that mommy doesn't go into work so when mommy leaves the house without them um, it's foreign to her you know we go we go everywhere together and we do everything together and that's what she's used to you know um, and just creating that like that legacy like things that you you want to be the example you don't want to tell your kids what to do you want to show them and I feel like I'm able to show them how to be strong how to work hard um, how to be confident I, I mean I'm by far confident person but I'm more confident than I ever been in my life and I want to be able to show that to my girls like Bella walks around very shy she's like she has a mixture of myself and Chris and her. Like, she's an introvert, but she's also branching out of her shell a lot sooner than I ever did in my life. And so seeing her do that, seeing her come out, the teacher's telling me how she's doing in school. Like, she's grown so much in school and at home. And I truly love that about her. I love that, you know, she's becoming more confident. Um, Cece's definitely confident. That child is fearless, has um, confidence through the roof. Um, she has that side of me when it comes to being, you know, willing to just go after whatever you want. Um, she definitely gets that from me. Um, but the thing is, is Bella starts doing things now that I do. She imitates me on a daily basis. Um, she imitates her teachers. Um, she imitates people that inspire her. And um, it, it just, you got to show your children what you, you are preaching. Like, don't just preach it. You have to show them. And um, I want to be that person that shows my kids. No yelling, can you? My spot. We'll get a new spot. Dieter's on that spot. Say hi to everybody. My spot. Don't just see her. Don't be. You sit right there. Okay, okay, Cece. Cece. My spot. Okay. Dieter, look down. Okay, see, Dieter's down. Um, don't steal Cece's food or her spot because she'll let you know. Right, Cece? Right? Daddy. <laughs> Uh, she is a hot mess, uh, a hot mess. So, um, be nice, Cece. So, um, but 
I, I would love snuggling with her, but she never sits still longer than two seconds. Like, literally, she's already getting down. She kicks Dieter off and then gets back in my spot. Uh, leaves me. So, um, he's not getting up here, Dieter. Um, so, yeah, you guys, like, you have to take a leap of faith in yourself. No matter what it is in life, like, take that leap of faith and know that you can do whatever you want to do. And, um love what you do be happy with what you do um no matter what you do i mean if you're a teacher and you love teaching teach and teach your your butt off like you know no matter what it is you just have to love love what you do and i love what i do i love um i love it i love the time freedom at the end of the day so i'm kind of rambling i don't even know if i'm making any sense at all um, but, <laughs> um, that right there is why I will continue, um, what I do. I will continue fighting. I will continue, um, not letting the haters get in my way. I will continue not letting people discourage me. I will continue not letting people judge me um, or what I do. I will continue not letting people influence my decisions on what I do in life. I will continue fighting for my children, for my husband, for myself. And um, nobody's going to hold me back from my future, my kid's future. No one's going to tell me what's the right way of living life and no one's going to tell me what's the um, what I should and shouldn't do for a job. Like if I'm bringing in income and I'm taking care of my family, I'm being a better mom than I've ever been because I am here. Um, and I, I don't discourage anyone who does go into work. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying do what you love and be a badass at it. Excuse my French. If you're on here and your kids are watching, I'm sorry. Um, my kids didn't hear me, so good thing. Um, but you just got to do it. Like, you have to be strong. You have to be confident. You have to, you have to be you, you know, at the end of the day. Um, you're welcome, Lynn. I love you guys. I love you, Mandy, um, Natasha. But if you're on here and... Um, if you're a thriver and on here and confidence, if you've gained so much more confidence than you had before, um, raise your hand, like put a comment below, show the hearts. Um, you know, if you've become more confident with Lavelle or not even Lavelle, like, yeah, Lavelle, because it's not just the product. It's the community of people we surround ourselves with. Like I've, I'm gonna go outside. It's gonna be 90, 80 degrees today. So um, I become more confident because of the people I'm surrounding myself with. Um, it's uh, it's amazing what the littlest things can do, like in life. Like when you surround yourself with people who are just um, negative, not happy with life. Which I get it. I've been there. I've done that. But I'm choosing even on my worst days to not let the negativity bring me down because at the end of the day I mean when I was negative and I breed I, I lived and breathed negativity it showed on my family it showed on my children it showed on myself um, it shows like it really truly shows so you have to um, What I do now is, and again, don't get me wrong, I have my bad days, I have my off days, we all do, we're human, right? But on those days, I choose to do something that will bring me up, whether it's reading a book, or reading a quote, or reading something, finding something positive to read, um, because I'm, I'm choosing to be better in life, and I choose happiness, I choose um, drama free life. I want a drama free life. Oh my gosh. Colorado makes me feel like it's drama free life because Colorado is just amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. Sorry. Um, but that's how I feel. I feel at peace here in Colorado and everyone wonders why we moved to Colorado because I do, I feel at peace here. 
Um, I don't hard, know how to explain it. I don't know how to describe it. I just feel, I feel at home, if that makes sense at all. Um, so, I don't know. If I am helping anyone that I comment something, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm not making sense. Um, but I felt like I needed to share today. Um, share from my heart. I never um, make sense. Sometimes I feel like I ramble. Um, that's my insecurity coming in. It's my um, confidence trying to attack me. Um, but I feel like I can relate to somebody and somebody can relate to me and feel the same, you know? Um, I was never the smartest kid on the block. I worked my tail off to um, fight through school. Uh, <laughs> I was not a book, like Chris is a book smart person. He reads something one time and he's like, it's memorized. Me, on the other hand, I was the one staying up to two o'clock in the morning studying and still struggling. I'm a horrible test taker horrible test taker. I can know all the answers, but put that test in front of me and I bomb it or um, I struggle. And uh, I've always struggled, um, you know, through school. I've always, um, a lot of things like insecurities, all of it played, I think he played a huge role in my, my um, everything. So, but then the thing about me that is different than, than just different about me is I've never given up. Um, a lot of you know my part of my story, um, my health challenges, um, I, bad relationships, um, things that could have knocked somebody down completely hardcore. Um, but the thing is, is I believe that everything in life happens for a reason. And I also believe people are placed in our life for a reason. And I remember when I went through um, something major in my life. I, you know, good relationship, um, gone bad. And, uh, I remember coming out feeling the weakest I've ever felt in my life. Like I was no good. I wasn't good enough. Um, my insecurities got deeper, stronger. Um, and I felt like I was not worthy of anything. And I remember a friend and I'm going to give her a shout out because, um, I met her through a job, um, Amber Matthews and, or that's what her name, yeah, Amber Matthews now, um, was, her name was Amber Matthews, sorry, Amber, sorry, Chad, but we were not, we're not close, like, super close right now, but we're still friends, and when we met, um, I remember she took me for my first pedicure, um, she took me to buy clothes, we were going clothes shopping, and I was putting on, cl uh, shirts that were two times, bigger than what I did I needed and she was like um that is way too big for you I'm like no it's not it fits perfect and she's like no Shanann it doesn't and she helped me regain confidence that I didn't know I even had um she helped me find me and you know through that I've met so many people in my life that um have helped me through all of that helped me build my confidence helped me you just have to surround your people that or surround yourself with people that want better for you just like they do for themselves and if you do that like you are the bottom you're on top like you're on top of the world when you have people that surround yourself that you surround yourself with that make you better like they don't bring the bad out of you they bring the good out of you and um, from that point on I fought like hell I worked my tail off I busted my butt um, I was never a big um, dream or so to think because I my insecurities brought me down but I remember when um, I was single for a long time and my goal was to buy a house I was tired of paying someone else's mortgage because you know that's what you do when you rent and I wanted to buy a house and I wanted to buy a house that I could resell um, one day and make a profit off of and so I worked and worked and worked and worked. I lost a lot of friends because um, a lot of my friends were still young. We were still young and I was 25 years old when I built my first house. Um, my family doesn't come from money. Uh, we always worked hard for what we had and I did. I bought my first house at 25 years old and that was the biggest accomplishment I felt I've ever done because I did it by myself. I did it by working my tail off <laughs> for it and um, I had that to show for it, you know? Um, 
and then I met Chris. Uh, my health challenges happened. Um, I was diagnosed with some um, health challenges, and then I met Chris. I met Chris because of those health challenges. Um, my friend sent me a friend suggestion for him. It was actually his cousin's wife, and um, I deleted it. I was like, I am not interested. I don't want to meet a guy. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> so I deleted her friend suggestion for him. I was diagnosed uh, two months later, and I went through one of the, I would say, darkest times of my life because things just got scarier, um, worse. Um, I thought my life was crumbling underneath me, and I didn't know uh, which way to turn. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends at the time because a lot of my friends, um, the friends I did have I lost because they didn't understand that I looked perfectly fine and I felt perf uh, horribly inside, um, horribly. I felt um, a lot of discomforts, a lot of aches, a lot of um, bad moods. Um, I met a lot of friends online and in the part where I gave up on everything, I quit my job. It was kind of temporarily, but kind of quit my job uh, of nine years. I just said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm, you, didn't, you don't understand me. You don't understand what's going on in my life. And I quit. And I got a friend, suggestion, friend request from Chris. <laughs> I was in a really, really, really bad place. And I got a friend, friend request from Chris on Facebook. And I was like, Oh, what the heck I'm never gonna meet him except well, one thing led to another and eight years later we have two kids we live in Colorado and he's the best thing that has ever happened to me and because of my health challenges because I got so sick I let him in and he only knew me at that time he knew me at my worst and he accepted me and you know, through um, your vows, like through sickness and everything, he's been there. He was the one that let me lay on him and fall asleep for three and a half hours on his lap while he had to pee. Um, he is the best thing that has ever, ever happened to me. So with that being said, know that no matter what, and I can go on forever with this story, like, but I want to cut it short so I don't bore you guys. Know that no matter how hard life gets, no matter how low you feel, know that deep down, like in your heart, that there's a purpose, there's a reason for everything. We may not understand it at the time. It's hard to understand it at the time. Um, I'm telling you, when I met Chris, I pushed him away. I gave every excuse for him to run. I mean, every I gave him an out every single day. I gave him an out. And if you guys know my story with Chris, you know I gave him an out. I mean, he went to my colonoscopy. I tortured him. I rejected him. I, I pushed him away time and time and time again. But when I canceled dates last minute, because that's how life is with my health challenges, you cancel things last minute and it's hard for people to get, it's hard for me to understand. But he stuck around and he stuck around because he was the one for me and he is amazing. And I can't tell you how wonderful he is. But on top of all of that, when I got sick, I reached out to support groups online and I built relationships with so many so many people that have similar health challenges or the same and we've built a relationship stronger than some of the relationships I've known for over 20 years some of them that I've known over my whole life um, and these people are in my life for a reason I met these people for a reason and Mandy Aikman is the one who introduced me to thrive and I would never be where I'm at right now without her and so <laughs> all of this comes from all of this positivity that I'm sharing my two children are because of of all of this like all of this my health challenges happened for a reason I was told I couldn't have kids you know and here I have two amazing crazy wild uh, children <laughs> I love dearly and um, Everything happens for a reason. So if you're at a place where you feel, Dieter, you feel like like, you, like life's standing on top of you and, and 
um, attacking you write down this is homework for everyone and I do this all the time because I have to re life happens so write down all the things that you think are bad in your life all the negative in your life write it down but then I want you to also on the other side of the paper write down what has happened in your life that you're grateful for the third step is take a pen and mark over like connect the two things that happen so for instance health challenges Chris Mandy life right I can write that help I can connect that love uh, that life uh, health challenge to Mandy I can connect it to Chris and I can connect it to everything else that happened because of my health challenges. So do you see the, what I'm trying to do here? Like I want you to connect the negatives with the positives in your life. And when you look at that, life becomes so much brighter, like so much brighter when you can do that. So, you know, sometimes we have to reassess, like reassess in our life. Like sometimes we feel like life's attacking us. And when we do, we have to, we have to sit back and, and look at the big picture. And it may not be something right away. It may be, if it's happening to you right now, you may not see the big picture. You may not see it until six months down the road or what the connection is. But when you do, it's gonna all make sense. It's all gonna click and you're like, why was I beating myself up for something? No reason at all, like no reason at all, at all. So do that and if that helps you guys, like I don't know where I found that. It was in one of the books I read when I was going through hard things in life and when things were really like attacking me and I felt like um, the world was sitting on top of me, I had to do that and I do it still to this day. I still like, we still have our moments where, you know, we feel like life's attacking us or nothing good is coming out of every day. Um, we have to reassess and see why, um, why we did it, like why, why things happen. There's a plan, no matter what your beliefs in life are, what you believe in, there's always a plan for everything. And that's my, my belief anyway. <laughs> I believe it. And because I, I'm living proof that um, something good comes out of everything negative. Something good comes out of everything you don't want. And when you push your comfort zone, when you go outside that comfort zone and you really step out of it, it's going to hurt. It's going to be scary. It's going to be traumatizing sometimes. But guess what? When you, you step back, you're going to realize, wow, that was the best feeling of my life. Like that it's like riding a roller coaster. I'm, I'm iffy on riding roller coasters, but it's the same thing as riding a roller coaster. You're like, it's scary as heck. You don't want to do it. But when you do, it's exhilarating. Like it's exciting. It's, it's, I mean, literally when I was going, when I found out I was going on stage, I think I lost five pounds. Um, it was the scariest thing ever. And I was like, as long as I don't have to speak, we're good. You know, um, I can do this. So, um, it was still scary, like walking on stage in front of 25,000 people. I'm like, holy crap, am I going to trip in these heels? Am I going to bust my face? Am I going to, what am I going to do? Like, is there going to, my hair going to be standing up? Is, is my skirt going to be pulled up and not realize it? Um, <laughs> I was scared. Like all of those things came through my mind and, um, you know, it's just exhilarating on the other side. It's so exhilarating. And, um, so I hope I helped somebody today because I felt like I needed to share that and I, I know I kind of rambled a little bit and I apologize. I apologize if I don't make sense. I apologize if any of it, like it goes over left field. Um, but I wanted to share and I wanted to, um, I wanted to. So I hope that helped anyone that was on today listening. And if it did, let me know because, um, or if you need to talk, like always message me. Um, uh, I love talking to people and I love helping um, in any way I can because many people have helped me through my life and my struggles and um, everything. So I, I, I appreciate everyone um, who's impacted my life and who Im still continues to impact my life. And so I like to try to pay it forward and I try to help people too in any way that I can, um, even if it's just saying being there and listening to you. Um, um, Thank you, Jen. I, you know, and it's, I'm still not there, but I, I, you know, I feel like I'm accomplishing something, especially when my children are, are following in my footsteps. Um, and I love you, Mandy. I couldn't have done this without you. Um, I know I gave you hell for 14 months. I almost blocked you. <laughs> I, um, I, I didn't want to hear what you had to say about Thrive. Um, 
but I'm forever grateful for you and I greatly appreciate everyone along this journey and everyone who, whether you believe in um, what I'm doing or not, I have so many friends who um, may not believe, sorry, I'm trying to get out of the sun's shadow, um, believe in what I say or what I'm doing, but you support me. You're still my friend and you support me no matter what I choose to do. And I greatly appreciate all of you. So I love you all and you guys have an amazing, amazing Saturday. It's already hot here. It's, I think, I don't even know what time it is. It's nine o'clock. And as you can see, the sun is shining. Um, I'll show you guys over here a little bit. You can see the mountains a little bit. It's uh, a little clear. There's a balloon over there. I'm surprised there's no hot air balloons today. There will be tomorrow because they usually come on Saturdays. I mean Sundays. Um, so they're going to be building right there, but we'll still have our view, um, which I love. And Chris cut the grass yesterday. Thank goodness I needed it. So here's my view, and they're going to have a park right there. So that open space right there. It's going to be a park for the kids. Another one. We have like, several in the neighborhood. So, all right, everybody. Have an amazing day, and I love you all. Bye, guys.